Alrighty, it's Friday, February 24th, it's, and it's 8.30 a.m., and it's time for Comments X. Now, normally, this would be, I don't even know about it, many people have seen that this is Edit Free Friday, and this would be the case if, uh, Comments X were always edit free. It were if they weren't always edit free. Yeah, comments X are always seven days a week edit free. So uh, nothing special about Fridays for us at Comments X. Anyways, uh, on to the uh, uh, moments at hand, and uh, this is where I'll be answering some of the comments I get, and I'm now approaching. The thousand mark in views, which is yay. The co uh, subscribers are still stuck at nine, which is in the one percent range. So right on the borderline there between now on a, on average there. So no worries yet, but uh, would like some more. I know the people are celebrating a uh, hundred and so on and so forth. Uh, but then again, uh, most of those celebrating and moving up that quickly are cute young girls, and uh, uh, I'm not that. So that may be an explanation. So, anyways, uh, anyways, uh, looking at my comments yesterday, thank you for those of you who who do leave comments. Uh, if you don't know the new format, uh, does allow you to look, leave a comment, and it does allow you once you've posted a comment to see the comments. So you can either comment there, or uh, if you're a YouTuber, comment on your video channel and just leave me a little note on your. Uh, and if you want me to see, just leave leave me a little note uh, in my in in the comments, and I'll come by and check it out because you can do that too you can sort of post a link uh, to your your video in my comments uh, as well if once you've posted a comment you can click on there's an option to click on view all comments and you can see all the comments that have been viewed so basically the, the, it's the same as it was uh, on the old page except the comments when you first arrive there are hidden and you have to click, you have to first post a comment and then click on view all comments in order to see all the comments the way you had before. So uh, that uh, feature is still there. It's just a little more hidden. Uh, so for those of you who are wondering uh, on the new uh, YouTube design, where has all the comments gone? Uh, well, they're there. They just... Uh, Initially, not as visible as they were before. So, say post a comment, leave a comment, and that way you can see all the comments. Uh, as for those who did uh, 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 sort of respond to some of the comments I left around a couple of the channels, this is particularly around um, uh, one of the videos I had been watching uh, from the Irresponsible Atheist. It was. Uh, one of the physicists talking about uh, the science versus God problem in physics. Uh, because it, for those of you who don't know what's going on in physics, is that a lot, most of what we consider to be classical science has collapsed. And we're now in a situation where everything's kind of open. There's no one sort of set direction to say this is what's going on in physics. This this has really this has to do with black holes. This has to do with uh, uh, quasars. This has to do with uh, the center of galaxies. This has to do with uh, dark matter. Uh, it has to do with uh, the particle physics looking for the Higgs boson. This is at CERN. Uh, this is all the very heavy. Uh, physics stuff and you know, of course it involves a lot of calculus as well uh, that most people tend to avoid 
this is something that not is not uh, a leisurely pursuit of many. And uh, but that's exactly where I am. I'm I'm in the uh, astrophysics category where uh, I am looking at black holes. I am looking at uh, uh, super ma supermassive supernovas. You know, or, or supermassive stars. Uh, you know. Looking at the gravitational problems, looking at a lot of the you know the, the problems in cosmology and uh, uh, advanced physics that that uh, seems to have stumped everybody. And there was a comment post, and they'd like to know more about it. Uh, you know, in terms of you know gravity and the Higgs boson. The problem is, is that this, <laughs> and this is what the, the whole problem in physics. This is what the, the whole video is about is that there isn't anything more to say about it because not much more is known. I mean, this is, this is the problem, is that we had, had, had you know, come into... It, it, and this is the problem that atheists are going to have to deal with. Atheists is founded on the, on the classical science understanding that we have come to know everything there is to know about the universe, and that was it. Well, all that's collapsing now. If you're a physicist, all that's all that's gone. You know, there's nothing left anymore. And for many physicists, it's a frightening time because uh, everything they used to know that existed is now sort of just disappearing. You know, in terms of, in terms of uh, the theories and stuff like that. And you're back down now in the wild west where uh, <laughs> people are kind of shut, you know, looking around, and shrugging their shoulders, and where are you going next? Uh, that's where the situation is at, and with the Higgs boson, with gravity, with gravity. I mean, they really haven't figured out what gravity is. No one, no one in the physics community can tell you exactly what gravity is, uh, and, and no one will put the reputation online to say this is what gravity is. Um, they have theories and ideas, uh, but none of them have successfully tested out. Um, the Higgs boson is still uh, pretty much. Uh, a hypothetical, and even if they do find the Higgs boson, they've got up. You know, in particle physics, we're now in a quandary here. We get, we're sort of in this, this, this mud pit. Uh, if, you call, if you want to call it a quantum quagmire, and this is this is what was pointed out in the video. You have to have two separate theories, and these are mathematically based theories. Uh, Quantum mechanics deals with uh, the subatomic and particle physics, and, but it doesn't deal with the larger physics uh, dealing with, ga with, with uh, uh, galaxies, and that's primarily uh, Einstein's special, uh, his, his, not his special theory of relativity, but his general theory of relativity. So you have to go back to Einstein uh, to get into uh, these uh, uh, Solutions to s some of the gravitational problems. This, you know, was Einstein that was is general. Th and there's two theories of Einstein. There's the, sp the special theory of relativity dealt with and moved into quantum mechanics. That's your E equals M C squared. Is E equals M C squared is your special theory of relativity. The general theory of relativity dealt specifically with the forces of gravity. And try to sort of pin down exactly what gravity is, but it was never able to do it. Einstein went to his deathbed, kind of scratching his head, saying, "There's something wrong." I was never able to, and he was never able to finish the general theory of relativity. There was there was a problem with it. Uh, this problem uh, is higher, you know, even on the special theory of relativity as you move into quantum mechanics and quantum physics. Uh, for uh, atomic and subatomic particles, uh, you now run into other problems and limitations of the theory uh, as it moves into quantum mechanics and even further into uh, the attempt, which was super strings. Super strings, it seems to have, which was promising and really, really, when I, this is when I was uh, still in graduate, uh, in under, uh, and I and do, do my undergraduate work uh, in physics. Superstrings was just coming out. I actually have one of the first edition copies of Superstring Theory. That's how much a geek I am. I, uh, my 
my my prize books are Doctor Who and uh, um, uh, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings or anything like that. My prize books are uh, deep in the wilderness of physics, and one of the prizes I have is uh, a first edition of Superstring Theory. Uh, going back to what I was saying, though. Uh, super string theory w was very exciting and then it seemed to kind of just fizzle out it just you know the, the, the it was like it, it was it, for a while there for a couple of years there it, everyone was like giddy girls and we we've got something and you had star trek at the time who had put a lot of uh was putting a lot of quantum physics into uh and general theory of relativity into its shows. I mean, this it was. I mean, Star Trek: Next, Gener Next Generation was the first science fiction, uh, and this is where if you were a real science fiction fan, uh, and I mean, you're there because you're watching. You want to see the science inside the show. Uh, it doesn't get any better than Star Trek: Next The Next Generation. Uh, Star Wars was kind of a flop in terms of science fiction. Uh, science was more of a prop than anything else, and uh, there was so much wrong with the science in it that uh, uh, <sighs> we won't go into it now because it, uh, it is just too much. But as I said, super string theory has collapsed, so there's no real direction now. It's kind of the Wild West, but while it's frightening for others, it's exciting for me because. Uh, I set up my journey uh, uh, more than 20 years ago uh, following uh, the one principle inside of uh, quantum mechanics known as the random walk. And it said that if the random walk really was a significant effect, that using the random walk from the point of quantum mechanics and quantum physics, I should be able to touch on, and this is the Sheldon, the, the, the you know, the... the um, uh, the Sheldon Cooper thing, that from that point of qu the random walk in quantum physics, that you could touch every other area of uh, of academics and uh, you know basically ex explore the full universe from the point of view of the uh, of the random walk of quantum physics. And I've done that. I've done. I, I, I'm I'm to the point now where uh, I've gone past more than a couple PhDs. I'm into what you call, or I call myself, a, uh, it's, I give myself the title D. Pauli, and they have it in, spelt in Greek, or Pola, uh, that's the proper term, is Pola, it means I have many doctor's degrees beyond the, uh, the standard, uh, uh, beyond the standard, uh, you, you, most of your, your, your multidiscipline uh, scientists have, three or four maybe doctor's degrees I have more than that uh, and I'm heading towards a new designation uh, my goal is to get to an Omni degree to an Omni point where I could say I'm the ultimate physicist because uh, the quantum walk has led me through all fields of study that means that my library would be super massive uh, it's, it, it is large to a certain degree now. Anyways, uh, I'm approaching the three terabyte mark. Uh, that's three thousand gigabytes uh, for my uh, library, and I'm going to be adding. I'm aiming to add another two terabytes this uh, year in 2012. Probably in the last half of 2012, I'll add another two terabytes to the uh, uh, another to the library. Uh, and so for me, uh, doing this exploration, it's kind of exciting because you really have something now to explore. There is, you know, a lot of the the the, the standard guardrails, the rules are now gone. So it's a it's now it's a matter of sitting down and figuring out well what do you have actually in front of you. And I've kind of this is I said this yesterday. I've kind of dumped the old science where the scientific method is uh, postulate or purpose method observation and conclusion of sort of 
torn apart uh, the, the, that 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 uh, uh, scientific method, the classical scientific method, and just now I'm left with method and observation. And more often than not, it's observation that even leads to method. So it's, it's now our observation and then method. So our, it, it, it is taken off of basically the way astronomy has progressed. That astronomy, as far as we've gotten so far, and even with a lot of times with the with the, with the subatomic physics and the particle physics, most of it's based on observation. We really can't fiddle around with the stuff. Basically, we cr we, it, it, it's based on our, our, our sensors that we create in order to see what the human eye and the human body can't see in experience. So it's a, a translated observation or a translated experience in astronomy and, and particle physics. So that will give you another idea of how far things are. And in my conclusion, or uh, well, my conclusion but observation from what I've seen so far, is that it's no longer science versus God. That whole question is now gone. It's no longer a question, a question with, you know, uh, that, that science is in competition with God or, you know, you have this fight between the right and the, you know, the Christian right and the atheist. That, that that's gone. That whole paradigm is gone now. They're arguing something that is more than a hundred years old in terms of in terms of where their arguments came from. That paradigm now is gone in physics. It's gone in modern physics. There is no question anymore of God versus science. That's gone because the whole structure of physics is more or less gone. <laughs> you know, trying to explain what's up there, the whole structure of physics is gone. There's nothing there anymore. Is now up to us. Well, really up to us if for those who want to go down that way, to sort of develop the new areas there. So I, I know I know this doesn't answer the question. It gives a sort of answer to it, but that's as far as you're going to get in physics now. And the thing is, you're never going to get a full answer in physics because of the Heisenberg uncertainty. It's it, the questions in physics will only get you an asymptotic answer. You will approach the answer, but you'll never get the answer. So. Anyways, uh, I'm going to do a particular uh, shout out today because I was going around uh, my, my uh, I was strolling around YouTube yesterday and I found out that Chloe from uh, Alto Your Alto Your Your Clef, uh, actually got she's work she's a writer she's a novelist or wants to be a novelist and got her novel uh, into the first round of the Amazon Breakthrough Novel Award. So uh, I'd like to say hello and congratulations, and uh, I hope uh, you, you get what you want out of life. You know, let's go. To the, you know, second round. She's now waiting for the second round. So that's about it for today, and I will talk to you uh, in a little bit today to see if I can put up some more videos. Okay, bye bye.